हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ अश्विन चौहान टुडे वी आर हियर फॉर डिस्कस सम टॉपिक फ्रॉम द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ डिस्क्रिप्ट मैथमेटिक्स एंड द टॉपिक्स आर ऑपरेशन ऑफ ग्राफ पाथ साइकिल एंड कनेक्टिविटी वन बाय वन वी डिस्कस ईच टॉपिक सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी डिस्कस ऑपरेशन ऑफ ग्राफ सो देयर आर फोर मेन बेसिक टाइप ऑफ ऑपरेशन कॉल्ड यूनियन इंटरसेक्शन रिंग सम एंड कॉम्प्लीमेंट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी डिस्कस यूनियन The union of graph G1 and G2 is denoted by G equal to G1 union G2. The resulting graph G has a vertices set V that include all the vertices from both G1 and G2. That is vertices equal to V1 union V2. Now let's take an example of these two graphs G1 and G2. Now we have to find the union of these two graphs. So first we draw the common vertices of this both graph so common but vertices present in both graph are 1 2 and 3 now no any common vertices are there now we draw remaining vertices in this graph so remaining vertices are 4 5 6 now we connect each vertices with an edge so one is connected by a edge called e two is connected by a edge three one is connected one and three is connected with edge called b and one is and three also connected with edge g so we draw this edge like this and name it g now one is connected with six with a edge of h Three is connected with five, with edge E. Five is connected with four, with edge F. Five is also connected with six, with edge L. Now four is connected with two, with edge D. Now let's see what is remaining here. Yes, here six is also connected with three, with the edge called K. so this is the union of g1 union g2 this is the union of these two graph now let's move to our next topic that is intersection the intersection of two graph g1 and g2 contain only the common vertices and edge present in both graph so the common vertices between g1 and g2 and edges are the intersection of this in graph so the common we draw the common vertices and edges so common vertices in this graph is 1 2 and 3 and the common edges between them are a and c now no any common edges and vertices are there in this graph so this is the g1 intersection g2 now let's move to the our next topic called ring sum so the ring sum is denoted by g equal to g1 ring sum g2 equal to g1 Union G two minus G one intersection G two. So this is the this is the formula to find the ring sum of ring sum of the G one and G two. So here we have to subtract the u uh, subtract the intersection from the union. So what are uh, what are the common element which are present in the union are subtracted from this union part so we remove the h called a and h c so this is our ring sum of this two graph now let's move to our next topic that is complement the complement of graph g is a graph gd s on the same set of vertices vertices as of g such that there will be an edge between two vertices v comma e in gd s 
if and only if there is no edge in between v comma e in g the complement of a graph g v comma e is denoted by g dash v comma e dash so this is the g graph given graph now we have to find the g dash of this graph so for finding out the g dash of this graph first of all we draw the complete graph of this g so the complete graph of g is So here it is a complete graph of this given G. Now we have to find the G dash of this graph. So G dash of this graph is the remaining part of this, the remaining part which are not present in this graph is called the G dash of this graph. So the remaining part are the remaining edges which are not present in this G are the uh, G dash of this graph. So remaining edges are Sorry, this is so these are the remaining edges which are not present in this graph that is the g complement of this graph this is the complement of this graph so now next move to our next topic that is path a path is a type of open walk where neither edge nor vertices are allowed to repeat. There is a possibility that only the starting vertex and ending vertex they are the same in a path. In an open walk, the length of a walk must be more than zero. Edge cannot be repeated and vertices cannot be repeated. Now let's move to our next topic that is cycle. A closed path in a graph theory is known as a cycle. A cycle is a type of closed walk there where neither edge nor vertices are allowed to repeat. There is a possibility that only the starting vertex and ending vertex are the same in a cycle. Edge cannot be repeated and vertices cannot be repeated in the cycle. Also. Now let's move to our next topic that is connectivity. Connectivity is a basic concept of graph theory. It defines whether a graph is connected or disconnected. Without connectivity, it is not possible to traverse a graph from one vertex to another vertex. A graph is said to be a connected if there is a path between every pair of vertices from every vertex to any other vertex. There must be some path to traverse. This is a called connectivity of graph. So this is an example of connected graph where the graph is connected with D and F. These two graph is connected with the edge D and F. Now disconnect, uh, disconnected graph. A graph is said to be a disconnected if there exist multiple disconnected vertices and edges. So this is an example of disconnected graph where this graph, these two graph are disconnected. There is no any connected edges between them. So this graph is disconnected. So thank you for watching video. If you have any doubt, then comment in the comment box and like, share and subscribe. Thank you.